I was a bit under the weather and when the result came they said it's malaria. These mosquitoes in Nigeria that keep following me everywhere. Like every little thing. They just come near me. Something I've been taught by my mom growing up is whenever you feel sick, try and eat good food. So I just thought to make myself this warawa soup to at least start um, getting my body prepared to take the medicine. In here, in here I have palm oil, irudas, locust beans, and I'm adding tomatoes, pepper, onions, and blended crayfish. I'm going to allow it to cook through till it is reduced. Stir on it. Stir, stir, stir. Then you cover it to cook through. This video is going to be somehow because it's not short. Yeah, I didn't I didn't shoot this in the studio, so you, you guys will manage this. Alright, so once it's reduced, add the dried fish and pomo. Yeah, that's what I just added to it. Stir again and cover it to cook through. Season with salt. Then I added bush meat from my freezer. This is antelope meat. Yeah, so I always keep bush meat in my freezer. They kind of just help me get well. <laughs> so I'm going to stay on that to cook through. Like I said, you guys are going to manage in this video because I'm using one hand to hold my phone and the other hand to hold the spoon. Yeah. And apart from that, um, this was shot in my kitchen at home, not the studio kitchen. So the light is not as good as a studio kitchen. So you're going to add your favorite seasoning. So this is um, seasoning to season the soup. Stay on it and make sure everything is well incorporated. Okay. And this is a very easy soup to make. And if, um, if you want to see other versions of War War, you can find them on my YouTube channel. Yeah. So go check them out. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I get my War War leaves from Ekitia. Whenever they send them, the first thing I do is to wash and slice. Then I freeze them in my freezer. So this is frozen War War. War War leaves are very yummy. And like I've told you before, you can see various ways to cook War War on my YouTube channel or even on this Facebook page. Just check on the videos, you will see various War War um, recipes. It's very easy to make, like this as a forido, or you can use it for a goosey. So just check it out. I do not like to cook my vegetables for so long. Um, the war war also brings out a lot of water. So if you don't want to add water to your soup, it's fine. If you want to add some water, it's fine. Just um, do what you want. Depends on how um, thick or how light you want it to be. So, but don't cook the vegetable for long. Three minutes is okay. So after shedding the water, the soup is ready. Um, two, three minutes, like I said, the vegetable shouldn't cook more than that. Um, you can save. But at this point, I'm going to ask that you please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, um, share my videos and um, tell people about foodies and spice. Okay, let's keep spreading the message about foodies and spice. I make very beautiful recipes here all right so i'm serving this um with eba some people want to eat eba in the house so of course i'm um, serving them with eba now let me get this bush meat too but i need to still share okay so i ate mine with semo uh, because i really love um semo so um that's it warawa very easy you can um find recipes of warawa on my youtube channel you can find some here to foodies and spice okay share videos comment like my videos they encourage me i love you all so much now let me go and eat I, and, and by the way i feel much more better now um i'll be back in the studio all right so that's me eating my semu i'll be back in the studio soon um see you guys with new videos very soon love you